So delighted to be joined by the new Wexford Senior Hurling Manager, Dara Egan. First of all, Dara, for anyone who isn't familiar with you, just tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, delighted to be here, as, and thank you, Peter. Um, yeah, I suppose my uh, my club at home is Kildangan and Tipperary. Um, I've been involved with Tipperary Senior Hurlers over the last three years as a coach with Liam Sheedy, and um, obviously our tenure came to a, came to an end over the last few weeks. So, looking for a new exciting challenge, and sure, what what better challenge than that? coming down here to, to Wexford to um, try and see can we, we do something good over the next few years, you know. So that leads me on really then neatly to the, to the second question. Why Wexford? What, what is it about Wexford that made you put your uh, hat in the ring? Yeah, look, I suppose the first quarter final there is after, uh, you know, is after showing us the kind of passionate supporters and the, the passion that people have for Ireland down here. Um, over the last three years with my involvement with Tipperary, the, um, we would have came across Wexford a good few times obviously the 2019 semi-final um with being the most obvious one but uh through challenge matches and through different different uh, events against Wexford um you know I knew I knew the caliber of player I suppose that I'm dealing with and uh I knew I knew what what kind of route they wanted to take so hopefully I can uh, set, set Wexford on that pathway over the next few years and uh, it won't be just yourself. There'll be no doubt a backroom team involved with you. Um, no doubt some of them maybe haven't been finalised yet. But what what sort what way will the backroom team look? Yeah, well, look. Obviously, over the last few weeks with the interview process, which I must uh, commend the county board on, was a very um, it was a very very good process and uh, you know a very thorough thorough interview and and a good chat with the lads uh, before the selection was made. So I suppose that that had to get over the line first. So now. I'm going to spend a bit of time over the next few weeks um, putting together a really, really high-performing backroom team and a team that's going to, um, you know, bring these lads on and and hopefully use all resources, uh, u- utilise them well and get the most out of every uh, Wexford, Wexford panel member uh, by the time uh, January and February comes. And then just in terms of a, a timeline and maybe panel selection, when do you hope to start? And in terms of the process, you'll be going to, to maybe pick a panel or to decide who, who you'll be bringing with you. What way will you go about it? Yeah, well, look, it's great. First of all, it's great to be down for the quarterfinal weekend. There's uh, you know, top-class hurling going on. I know, I know intermediate um, matches are going ahead. I know there's some, some fairly uh, high-profile relegation battles as well over the next few weeks. So... Just it was exciting there to see see the Harriers and Barrentown there. They went toe to toe there, and uh, it was great to see some of the players. And 5:45 again, there's another throw in, and two tomorrow. So I'm going to see a lot of players. A lot of them I would know, obviously, over the last few years. Um, the 32 man panel that was in existence in 2021. Um, obviously, all them lads will be looked at, and uh, you know some good young hurlers who um, who I would have seen on some of the extra TV stuff over the last few weeks as well. Um, they're all going to come into contention, so it's great to great to see a few lads. And uh, obviously, as the hurling hurling season concludes down here in Wexford, we'll be we'll be drafting together a, a panel, and and we'll be we'll be going at it as hard as we can, I suppose, in December and January, just to just to see who makes the final cut then. So I suppose the message then for any of the club hurlers around the county who have ambitions of being an inter-county hurler that. All eyes are going to be on them now over the next few weeks. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. As I said, it was good to see probably forty lads took the field there in the last hour, and there's going to be probably another another uh, thirty five or forty going to take the field again um, this evening. So you know, it's good to see good to see everyone, and uh, it's going to be an interesting panel. It's going to be an interesting setup. What's coming? What's coming over the next few months? And uh, really looking forward to kicking it off. Well, Dara, thanks very much for joining us, and we wish you the best of luck in the in the coming uh, weeks and uh, the coming months. Yeah, and thanks a million. And thanks, thanks everyone for their welcome so far. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I hear the noise I heard out in, in Shaddock's Wexford Park there already today. I hope that continues for the, for the next few years.